This project is sponsored by Jonathan Green. Quality lawns since 1881. Find Jonathan Green products at your local hardware store, garden center, or online at jonathangreen.com. Hi, and welcome back to the shop. I'm John Peters, and in this episode, I'll show you how to build this decorative lamppost. I'll get started on this project by building a box out of Azek. Azek is a PVC material and a good choice for exterior projects. Another option would be exterior MDF or exterior MDO, medium density overlay, often used in sign making. I've set up a stop block and I'll cut all the parts to length at 35 inches. I'm making the lamppost 36 inches tall because that's what my wife Laurel wants. Over at the table saw, I'll rip two of the sides at three and a half inches, so when the box is assembled, it will fit over a four by four post. I'm using biscuits to join the parts together and build the box. The biscuits definitely help with alignment, but they're not necessary. If you don't have a biscuit joiner, you could still build this project. Just make sure the sides or the edges are flush, tack the parts together with a nail gun, and then use a few screws for a stronger joint. I'm building this to slide over a 4x4 four four post and it does fit but as you can see it's a bit tight. I don't want to force that. So I'm going to run the post through the planer and take just about a sixteenth of an inch off the two sides. Now that I have the box finished, I'll get to work on the face frames that will create the flat panels. I'm going to use the biscuit joiner again to make the face frames. If you don't have a biscuit joiner, another option would be to use pocket hole screws. Okay, well now I've got the box made out of Azek, and I've made the face frames that will create the flat panels. And I'm going to go ahead and attach the face frames with the thinner one inch styles first to opposite sides of the box. When I attach the face frames with the inch and three quarter styles, you'll see that the one inch styles plus the thickness of the material, three quarters of an inch, will give me the inch and three quarters on both sides. When I attach this face frame, because it's just a little bit heavier than the box, I'll make sure that I'm flush on one side. And the little overhang that I have here will be cleaned up later with a flush cut bit in the router. I'm going to attach the face frame with wood glue, a few nails, and then a few screws for a little extra strength.
This year, I'm really trying to get a more eco-friendly lawn. I've planted wildflowers and large parts of the lawn are going unmowed to create a natural meadow look. Along with the other Jonathan Green products that I use on my lawn, like their Black Beauty Ultra Grass Seed or their Very Green Lawn Food Fertilizer, I'm also using their Natural Grub and Insect Control. It's made with a blend of plant oils that's eco-friendly, pollinator-friendly, and safe to use around children and pets. To learn more about Jonathan Green's Natural Grub and Insect Control, click on the link in the description below. Now that I have the face frames attached to the box, I'll get to work on the moldings that will dress up the base, the top, and the flat panels. Now I have the face frames attached to the box. The screw holes are filled and sanded. These are not filled because they're going to get covered with molding. A simple base at the bottom, a cap molding at the top, and then I'll make a simple molding with a seven degree angle that'll fit underneath the cap and on top of the base. And I'll also use it to picture frame the flat panels. To make the molding, I've ripped a few sticks at an inch and an eighth. I'll set the blade at seven degrees and the fence at 3 8 and rip two pieces of molding from each stick. I want to take a minute and thank Van Dyke's Restores for sending me the light fixture for this lamppost. I think it's a quality light fixture with a real classic look. If you'd like to learn more about it, I'll have a link to it down in the description below. The next piece of molding is this seven degree angle again. I did cut this on a piece of AZEC that measures a full inch. So it's just a little bit different than the molding in the flat panels. But I think that this 90 degree angle here looks a little severe. So I'm going to soften this up with a small roundover bit in the router. For the top of the lamppost, I'm using a piece of white oak. These are actually two boards that I glued together off camera. I'm using a thumbnail bit in the router to create a profile on the edge. And this is a pretty big router bit, so I'm going to cut this profile in two passes. I'll have a link to the bit down in the description below. You may remember this bit from two projects last year. One was the outdoor dining table, and one was the Japanese-inspired outdoor coffee table. After a little sanding, I'm ready for prime and paint. I'm definitely going to prime the bottom of the post to help prevent any moisture from getting sucked up into the end grain of the wood. 
The primer I'm using is Styx. And then for the finish coat, I'm using Benjamin Moore's Command. I like this paint because it dries really fast and it's very easy to use. For a little extra protection against moisture, I'm priming the end grain at the bottom of the post with roofing tar. Okay, well that's it. Another project off the list and I think it looks great. I have to say I think Laurel was right about the 36 inches. Originally I wanted 48, but I think 36 works nice in this little bricked area. And it's going to be a real pleasure having some light when I'm cooking on the grill. A big thank you to Van Dyke's Restores for sending me the light fixture. I'm a big fan of Van Dyke's Restores. I've done a few projects with them. So definitely click on the link in the description below and check that out. And if you're looking for a project, check out my website. I've got a ton of great woodworking projects. And they run from beginner to intermediate to advanced so definitely something for everyone. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.